Hi everyone, I'm Naomi Ruckham. We are following breaking news. Former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger has died at the age of 100. The German-born American statesman became a household name in the 1970s as he worked to end the Vietnam War and the Cold War. He worked under both Presidents Richard Nixon and Gerald Ford. Skyler Henry looks back on his life. Henry Kissinger rose to the heights of American government and helped steer U.S. foreign policy through a turbulent era. He served as National Security Advisor, Secretary of State for two presidents, and won the Nobel Peace Prize. Kissinger was born Heinz Alfred Kissinger in Firth, Germany in 1923. As a teenager, he moved to the U.S. with his family to flee the Nazis. He later returned to Germany as a U.S. soldier. After World War II, Kissinger went to Harvard, first as a student, then as a professor of government. In 1968, President Nixon tapped him to be his national security advisor. In that role, Kissinger instituted the policy of detente to ease tensions with the Soviet Union. He also secretly traveled to China to foster a new U.S. relationship. The result was an historic 1972 summit that ended more than two decades of hostility between the two countries. A year later, Egypt and Syria launched a surprise attack on Israel. Now Secretary of State, Kissinger continued his diplomatic travels, which became known as shuttle diplomacy. He personally met with various leaders in the Middle East and helped negotiate an end to the Yom Kippur War. In no area of the world, is it more difficult to promote a just and lasting peace? But the most pressing U.S. foreign policy issue was Vietnam. In 1970, Kissinger began secret negotiations with the North Vietnamese, hoping to end U.S. involvement in the war. We have brought them to this point with considerable difficulty and with considerable anguish. The broker deal earned Kissinger and the North Vietnamese leader the 1973 Nobel Peace Prize. But the anticipated ceasefire didn't stick, and in a conversation with Nixon, captured on tape, Kissinger made a blunt proposal to get North Vietnam back to the bargaining table. I would then recommend that we start farming the retreaters out of them within 48 hours. Kissinger remained a powerful voice in the White House even after Nixon resigned during the Watergate scandal. As Secretary of State under President Gerald Ford, Kissinger saw Saigon fall in 1975, which effectively ended the war in Vietnam. Near, near Athens, Georgia. Kissinger near, also near enjoyed Athens, Georgia, his role Georgia, as a celebrity. He was often seen on the town, socializing with celebrities like Lauren Bacall and Elizabeth Taylor. One of his most famous quotes, power is the ultimate aphrodisiac. Even into his 90s, Kissinger advised the Obama administration and offered commentary on international affairs. His intellect and experience sought after until his death. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. Thank you. We'll have more on this story during our 7 a.m. hour.